Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM onto your Motorola Milestone using Android. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then look for our how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Milestone. Okay, before you begin, uh, this is assuming that you did our how to root the Motorola Milestone procedure. If you haven't, go take a look at it um, by clicking on the link right there in that first step. And once you have done it that way, then you can come to this and continue. Okay, now we need to download the ADB recovery uh, zip file. So you're going to click on the link here. Scroll down and the very first link you see is the one you want. So download that. Okay, so once we've downloaded the zip file, we're going to extract it somewhere. You just right click it, hit extract all. Bring up this menu here. You can just leave whatever it says and hit extract at the bottom. And that should extract it to this folder here. So now we have that, this folder inside, and these are the two files we're actually going to be using. Okay, now we're going to need to plug in the Motorola Milestone. Plug it in like that. And then we're going to pull down the top, tap that, and hit Memory Card Management and OK. Okay, so now we're going to open the extracted uh, ADB recovery file. We're going to open the NSD root, and we're going to take these two files, the uh, folder recovery and the update.zip file, we're going to highlight both of them, and we're just going to drag them over to our phone's SD card. Now we're not going to put them inside any folders, we're just going to put them on the SD card itself. Okay, and then we'll let that copy. Okay, once we transfer that stuff to the SD card on the milestone, we can unplug it. And then we can turn it off. And now we're going to turn it back on by holding down camera and power and keep holding it. So you see this exclamation point. Once you do, you can let go. Now you're going to hold down volume up and then press camera. And you should be presented with the recovery menu. Okay, once we see the recovery menu, we're going to slide open the keyboard because we need to use the D-pad. We're going to push what is right or down in this case and click apply SD update.zip by pushing on the gold button and let it update the phone. Okay, once it's done, you might lose your backlight. Don't worry about it. You're going to leave it in recovery, don't do anything else, and we're just going to plug it into the USB cable. Now, okay, now on the computer, we're gonna open our command prompt by clicking on the start menu and typing CMD. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna type into the command prompt. Uh, don't worry what I'm typing here, you can just follow the written instructions on the site. Okay, at this step where I write CD uh, Android SDK slash tools, Android SDK is, SDK is the name of the folder we gave the Android SDK if you did our ADB procedure. Um, so if you didn't do our ADB procedure, you might want to go check it out and just rename your folders so that they fit ours. Um, this way it just goes a lot smoother. Or just know that whenever I type Android SDK, I'm actually just typing the folder name for the SDK. You just replace your folder name. Okay, and it's going to ask you to enter a prefix substring. Uh, we're just going to call it milestone. And let it do its backup. Okay, and when it's done, it'll say the backup is successful. Uh, and you'll get a prompt again. You're going to type in reboot and hit enter. And this should reboot your phone. Okay, once the phone boots back into normal mode, after we typed reboot, we're going to keep it plugged in. 
and we're just going to pull down the top, USB, memory card management, click OK. Okay, so once we mount the SD card on our computer, we're going to open it, and you'll see a folder called Nandroid. We're going to grab it and save it somewhere onto our computer. Uh, and this is going to be used as a backup in case we ever want to unroot or get back to the way we were before. Okay, next thing you need to do is get a ROM. So we're going to click on the link here to get to our milestone ROM section. And then you're going to scroll down and choose one of these ROMs. Now keep in mind that these ROMs are not in update.zip format, so do not try to flash them from your recovery image. You need to flash them through Nandroid. So I'm going to select the German one, and we'll click that, and we'll let it download. Okay, okay so once you've downloaded that, you're going to right click it, extract all, and then click extract. And then we're going to open the folder open the folder inside and we're gonna select all of these files that's in here not the folder the files themselves we're going to copy them and then we're gonna go over to our SD card click on Android console milestone and we're going to paste them into here um, so we click that it's gonna ask you if you want to overwrite files with the same name, you're going to say do this for the next four conflicts and then copy and replace and let it copy. Okay, once it's done copying the files over, we're going to turn off the phone. We're also going to unplug it. Then we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and camera again. And we're going to keep holding it. So we see the exclamation point, and then we can let go. Now we're gonna hold volume up, and then push power, or excuse me, push camera. And we'll be greeted with the recovery menu. We're gonna then slide open the keyboard, push down, and select apply SD card update.zip. And then close this, and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done, you're going to plug the phone back in. Okay, now that we've plugged the phone back into the computer, we're going to type in our command prompt. Okay, and after you've hit enter a few times, when it asks you questions, it should begin to restore the backup. Okay, once you're done, it should say restore done. And now we can type reboot and hit enter, and the phone should reboot. Okay, once it boots up, you should be on your new custom ROM. Enjoy!